Greetings, pilots. It's good to see you all are at optimal efficiency. I understand how eager you are for something about Titanfall 3 to come. In the second playthrough, I was declared deceased after Jack Cooper and I saved the frontier. But there is something that you can be looking forward to. Hold on there, BT. Let me do my job, please. Apologies, novel. Your YouTube channel seems to be dying. A change in narration seemed like an optimal decision to revive it. Okay, BT. Thanks, I guess. Ever since Season 19 released and we got Conduit, we've all been rather disappointed with how Respawn decided to handle the integration of Titanfall into Apex Legends. I mean, I'm pretty damn sure that a lot of us don't want Apex Titanfall, we want Titanfall. In the sense that if they do make Titanfall 3, they make it a lot like Call of Duty, where Apex is Titanfall 3's Warzone and we have three separate modes the campaign, the multiplayer, and the battle royale. We do know that Respawn was working on a Titanfall game where we played as Cuban Blisk and the legends from Apex would all come along and give you new upgrades and abilities that you would then use in the campaign as you progress. However, that idea kinda got scrapped and now we're all left with a simple sentiment to Respawn. I don't wanna play Titanfall in Apex. I wanna play Titanfall in Titanfall. Now, I know for a fact there's absolutely nothing that Respawn can do to probably convince a Titanfall veteran to go and main Apex Legends over Titanfall. However, that absolutely does not mean that we cannot enjoy the content integrations that Respawn makes from Titanfall into Apex Legends. You see, there was one major problem with Titanfall 2 besides being things like cheaters, hackers, bugs, and overall Respawn just completely giving up on the game at one point, and that very small issue is the multiplayer for the game. There is a massive skill gap in Titanfall, and of course we who have been playing the game for a while won't have an issue with that skill gap as well as understanding the movement and the gunplay. However, that isn't the case for the newer players who found themselves playing an absolute masterpiece such as Titanfall 2. Players often found themselves getting absolutely smoked by veteran players since that's what the lobbies mostly consisted of. Basically, Titanfall 2 is a hard game to play and kinda get used to, and this is backed up by one of the main devs of Titanfall 2. Titanfall 3. <laughs> Titanfall 2 was, you know, came out, did what it did, and we were like, okay, well, we're gonna make Titanfall 3. The multiplayer team was having a hell of a time trying to uh, fix the multiplayer. Because a lot of people loved multiplayer. People loved Titanfall 2 multiplayer. People who yeah. love Titanfall 2 multiplayer is a very small number of people. Most people play Titanfall 2 multiplayer and think it's really good, but it's just too much. It's cranked up to 11 and they burn out of it fast and they're like that was a great multiplayer that's not something i continually play for like a year two years so we were like trying to fix that we tried to fix that from titanfall 1 to 2 try to fix it from titanfall 2 to 3 the multiplayer team was like just dying and we all know that the best way to understand these mechanics is to actually play the campaign first then frontier defense and then you get into multiplayer. But this isn't very commonly known to newer players. A lot of the time, they just kind of find themselves getting steamrolled. However, Apex Legends is a bit of a soft spot for newer players since Apex Legends is derived from Titanfall, especially the lore and the gunplay. Apex Legends is much more forgiving towards newer players who are trying to understand things like movement, aim, tracking, and overall just trying to become a more mechanically skilled player. And this is one of the very many reasons why Respawn just probably won't make a Titanfall 3, but rather integrate certain parts of it into Apex Legends. After all, it is a company, and they do want to make money, and if you just take a look at the numbers, then that will honestly tell you everything that you need to know. Now of course, it's not just more and more gameplay integrations that we'll be seeing coming into the game. As we all know, one of the things that makes made Titanfall such an absolute gem to play was the lore that came along with it. Titanfall 1 was amazing and they went ahead and made Titanfall 2 just all the more enjoyable to play and experience. The story of Jack Cooper and BT was honestly amazing. Excuse me novel, I believe it is my time to shine. Allow me to explain. Now, if any of you have seen the recent trailer for the Apex games that was showcased across the frontier, you can observe Horizon looking at the time gauntlet that Jack Cooper used to navigate the facility in order to rendezvous with the captain. BT, I found Anderson. He's uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. 
We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. It is currently unknown how Horizon managed to acquire this item, but there is an obvious and observable integration of her story from ours, and the gauntlet allows that to happen. It is also known that she is looking for her son since she got lost in a black hole, and the gauntlet is how she will find him. But we would even go as far as to see Cuban Bliss, the original founder of the Apex Games, make an entrance. As the current owner of the games, Dr. Silva, Octane's grandfather is deceased, and Blisk is the next most likely option for this. A while ago, an insider syndicate revealed that developers were testing Cuban Blisk's new ability skill set within the Apex games, and he had the ability to call down a Titan. It is unknown if it was his own Titan or not. However, Void technology was exploited in laboratories across the frontier, which is also how Renee, otherwise known as Wraith, acquired her abilities. Not very long ago, a Syndicate Insider source leaked information of a new Apex Predator joining the Apex Games in Season 21, named Alter, who also seems to possess the same qualities from the Void experimentations. Well, what BT actually failed to mention was the fact that even though there is going to be a massive content integration from Titanfall into Apex Legends, there is one huge mechanic that made Titanfall Titanfall. And we just unfortunately won't be seeing it coming into Apex Legends, well, anytime soon at least. It is also one of the reasons why Titanfall's super based gameplay was just hard for newer players to get into, and that is none other than wall running. Well, see, that's the thing. Even though there is no way to convince us that an integration of content is better than a standalone Titanfall 3, if and when, because at some point, wall running will be the final option to add to actually keep the game alive and well for just a little longer. Adding that in would certainly keep a lot of us Titanfall fans engaged and happy with Apex Legends, since a lot of us already have a very toxic love-hate relationship with the damn game. But but there is one major piece of nostalgia that is going to blow things out of the water for Apex Legends and Titanfall. Who remembers Angel City? Yeah, the Titanfall map that just shrieks good old times. Respawn is actually going to add it into Apex Legends. Well, kinda add it into Apex Legends. Let me explain. You see, they're adding a new map next season in Apex Legends, as we all should know, and it's going to be named District. Now, the interesting thing about District is that it was modeled after Angel City and Titanfall 2. And with the old lore of Revenant and Loba now being over, we finally get to see a conclusion to Ash and Horizon's story. Because, as we all do know, Jack Cooper killed Ash in Titanfall 2, she was resurrected in Apex Legends, then Jack Cooper is the only one who used the time gauntlet which Horizon is currently looking for so she can find her son, it does seem like Respawn might actually do a good job of integrating Titanfall into Apex Legends. Unless of course they just never add wall running at all, then that would upset a lot of us, of course. However, I know we all love Titanfall, as well as Apex Legends, and sometimes we get bored. And honestly, I've been playing a shit ton of Helldivers 2, so much so that I even made a video about it. This game just blew Apex and Titanfall 2 completely out of the water. 